What is up space potatoes? I'm Charlotte here to be the first to tell you about NASA's big announcement. But first, hi! Welcome to Inform Overload, your YouTube source for amazing information. So sadly, it doesn't look like I'm going to hug an alien anytime soon. NASA tweeted out 20 minutes before the conference, spoiler alert, it's not aliens, but it's pretty neat. Oh, not even one alien NASA? Can we just have one alien? Like a little one? Okay, how about half an alien? I will settle for half an alien. Alright, so what is this major news NASA wants to tell us? Though they haven't found aliens, NASA has gotten closer to answering the question, are we alone in the universe? Using the Spitzer telescope, they have found seven Earth-sized planets orbiting a single star. This is the first time that this many Earth-sized planets have been found around one star. The star is called TRAPPIST-1. TRAPPIST-1 is a relatively dim star, which made it an ideal candidate to point the Spitzer telescope at. What's more, three of these seven planets are in the Goldilocks zone, which is also known as the habitable zone. This means that liquid water can pool on the surface. There could be water on any one of these planets, and where there's water, there could be a habitable ecosystem. So what are these three planets like? Well we don't know a whole lot about them yet, but here's what we do know. TRAPPIST-1e receives about the same amount of light as Earth, and it's almost exactly the same size. TRAPPIST-1f has a water rich composition, it also receives the the same amount of light as Earth. And TRAPPIST 1g is the largest planet in the system. It receives about the same amount of light as Mars. If these planets receive a similar amount of light from their star, it means that they are likely close to the same temperature, which means liquid water, which means life. One other amazing thing about the planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system is how close they are to each other. If you stood on one of these planets, you would be able to see the other planets in the sky. They would be as large as the moon or even larger for some of them. How cool would that be? To look up at the sky and see a bunch of big planets? I want to go there! Ok so you're probably wondering, how long would it take to travel there? If we left today, we would arrive around 39 years from now, traveling at the speed of light. Which isn't like that long, but it is. Anyways guys, super exciting information, who watched that NASA broadcast? It's time for me to respond to a couple of comments. Alex Garza said, maybe it's a potato planet. One can only hope. Bellatrix Potter said, I hope they find aliens then Charlotte might be able to hug an alien. I know man, it's just it's getting to be just like, uh, just tugging at my heartstrings here. WTF did I just watch said, I will dress my pet alien as Sailor Moon. I think I would probably put a tutu on my alien. And a random commenter said, if we truly are alone then there's no intelligent life anywhere in the universe including on earth. <sighs> Hold on. Are you saying I'm not intelligent? I mean I'm not alien intelligent, but I am pretty SMRT if you know what I mean. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you subscribe to Inform Overload, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and if you want to keep watching, why don't you click one of these two videos floating right over here.